I was glad that we went with the 6x8, that extra roost bar. That's one, that was, that was one of the reasons that I elected to go larger was because it gives you that space. You know, so I always nice. forget to mention that. People are always like, how many chickens can you put in there? You're right, I forget to mention it's easy math. Um, the, the, the chickens do two things inside the hen house. They sleep at night on the roost bars. This is their bed, okay? And then they lay eggs in the egg hutch. So, you know, a lot of people are like, you need a certain number of square feet per hen for the hen house. I disagree with that. What you first want to think about is how many feet or how many inches per hen do I need for them to sleep at night? I like the one foot rule. I like the king size bed. Uh, so in this case, you have three eight foot roost bars. So that's 24 feet. So you could easily, comfortably, keep 24 hens in here, but you can go down to the industry standard, I like to call it, at eight inches, but that's cramming it. Leave yourself room for your flock to fluctuate, because it will. If you're figuring out what size hen house I need, you go by the cubic footage to the amount of cross ventilation you have. You want as much cross ventilation as possible. Think about it, guys. Before coops were invented, chickens went up into the trees. That's what this is. They're up in the trees, but what we're doing is we're giving them 100% protection. But we want to have as much ventilation as possible like they would up in the trees.